Simple procedures can increase lamb crops and therefore profitability. Tube feeding is a simple process that can often save neonatal lambs. The most important factor when tube feeding lambs is determining when it is necessary. Lambs that are too weak to nurse are good candidates, as well as lambs with mothers that are lacking milk in situations such as mastitis, disease, or plain lack of mothering. Tube feeding can also be used to hydrate lambs with diuretic by adding of electrolytes. Do not tube feed a hypothermic lamb until its body temperature is raised to a normal level. There are a few pieces of equipment to gather before beginning, including a syringe. This may be 140 cc or 60 cc, depending on your preference. You will also need a feeding tube and milk. When you are ready to begin, hold the lamb in a natural position. Never tube feed a lamb on its side or it may inhale the milk. We suggest that you sit and hold the lamb between your knees. To determine how far in the stomach the tube must go, lie the tube along the lamb's body so that it reaches the last rib. This will give you a reference point on the tube when you insert it and begin feeding the lamb. Begin with the tube unattached to the syringe and insert it gently into the lamb's mouth and slowly ease it towards the back of the mouth. You should not have to apply much pressure as the lamb should naturally swallow it. If the lamb is chewing on the tube, it is swallowing it. Take your time and be gentle. If the lamb begins coughing, gagging, or acting violently, it means you have inserted the tube into the trachea and not the esophagus. Do not begin feeding if this happens. There are several ways to check that you have properly placed the stomach tube. The simplest way is to attach the syringe. Try pulling the plunger back. If it is very difficult to pull more than a few cc's, you are in the proper place. However, if you can easily pull the plunger back, it means you are pulling air from the trachea and lungs. If this happens, remove the tube and try again. Once the stomach tube is properly placed, remove the syringe and fill it with milk. At this point, you have two options to administer the milk. The first option is to slowly depress the plunger. The second option is to leave the plunger out and allow gravity to push the milk through the tube. Either of these methods are acceptable. When the milk is gone, detach the syringe, crimp the tube, and quickly remove it. The crimping and quick removal prevents fluid from entering the lungs as the tube is pulled out. This presentation was a production of the Animal Science Department at Purdue University.